Everybody, our next break, 2020 Leaf Ultimate Baseball. Four box, dual random hit group break number one. Nah, I don't think it's really going to matter that much. I think the Packers are going to win the division, regardless. <clears throat> Alright, each spot's going to receive two hits in this break. We're going to take our spots, randomize them five times. Then we're going to open up the product, randomize the hits five times as well. We'll match up those lists so that every buyer is matched with two hits in this break. Let's go over to random.org, randomize our names. Uh... You would think they could. I mean, there's good teams in the NFC going for the wild card. You're going to be competing with the Bucks and uh, the Rams and the Cardinals. Dexter there, Corey, or the Seahawks if the Rams win the division or if the Cardinals win the division. So it, it's going to be tough to get those three wild cards, but nobody's coming out of the East. The only team out of the South I think is going to be the Bucks. I don't think the Panthers are going to be there. And I, I don't think... Uh, yeah, I mean, they could get that 6 or 7 spot. Especially if the Bucks continue to struggle. There's no reason why they can't, so... I mean, Trubisky's taking them to what? The NFC Championship game? <laughs> There's no reason to think he can't uh, get them a wild card spot with 7 teams. Uh, I'm not sure yet. I know we're going to have, was it No Huddle is a Monday release. So I'm going to try to get some stuff up for that either today or Sunday whenever I come in. So I, I will have stuff up. Uh, these aren't top loaded. Let me go grab uh, some top loaders here. Yeah, I mean, I, I got to think Seattle, New Orleans, or Green Bay is coming out of the uh, NFC. And I just think Kansas City is just too strong for anybody to knock them off in the AFC. Sorry about the delay here, guys. <laughs> First time opening up this product. Normally, Leaf has everything top-loaded. Right out of the box. They don't in this one. Let's see the effects of the great top loader shortage of 2020. Oh, yeah. I, I think so, too. We have Kyle Harrison, number 20 of 25. Because you figure the seven seed's going to play the two. I mean, they're not going to go in and beat any of those teams on the road. Kyle Nicholas, 12 of 75. <laughs> I don't think so. How about between Adam Gase and Mike McCarthy, is there which one was the worst hire? Those two are both awful. Werner Blakely, 21 of 25. Christian Hernandez. Austin Wells, numbered one of 25. 
and we have Garrett Crochet. <laughs> you know what? I always said that Aaron Rodgers was overrated. But after watching what Mike McCarthy is doing to the Dallas Cowboys, maybe Aaron, maybe I didn't give Aaron Rodgers enough credit. Because <laughs> Mike McCarthy is trash. Yesterday, Zeke Elliott had a 20-yard run. It was called back to a hold. So they throw the ball. They got like 15 yards. The next play, he runs for eight for a first down, and he leaves the game for two drives. Just McCarthy's just awful. Casey Schmidt, 30 of 75. And then they have the nerve, Aikman and Buck, to go, ah, oh, the Cowboys offense, these players just can't get a rhythm going. No, you can't get a rhythm going whenever your best player gets benched after a good play. Tink Hentz, 50 of 50. That was a big run by our star player. We're going to take him out of the game. I, I thought it was stupid play calling, throwing 70 times with Dak in there. How bad is it if you keep throwing with Andy Dalton? Jared Kelly. On this one. Again, I'm a Zeke owner in fantasy. <laughs> but also in an Andy Dalton. I picked him up too, so. Gage Workman, 13 of 15. Everybody has a ton of respect for his dad. Sammy Infante, 36 of 75. <laughs> I I hate the argument whenever I say a coach should be fired and somebody goes, well, who would you hire? I don't know. I'm not in the process of interviewing people, but I bet I could find somebody better than that. If you're telling me the Jets can't find anybody better than Adam Gase, they should all just quit. Here we have a printing plate autograph. Ronnie Mauricio. Really nice one there. Cyan, one of one plate. Ronnie Mauricio. Yeah. Oh, I hate that argument. Well, who would you hire? Somebody better. I would go through an interview process, find somebody that I think knows what they're doing. It's obvious Adam Gase doesn't. Nice Mauricio played there. <laughs> Like, I'll be honest, whenever the Bill Cowher quit, if I was the Steelers, I would have hired Ken Wisenhunt. I'd really like Ken Wisenhunt for the job. We've seen Ken Wisenhunt's career. We've seen Mike Tomlin's. I would have made the wrong decision there, obviously. Mike Tomlin was the better decision. But I still wouldn't have went with someone like Adam Gase. This break's brought to you by Adam Gase, by the way. 
<laughs> Leody Tavares, 23 of 75. Brought to you by New York Jets football. Seth Corey, 9 of 75. Ultimate Destinations, Pittsburgh, Jared Jones. Nice card there. CJ Van Eyck, four of five. Yeah, I, I completely agree with you there. Cole Henry, twenty four of fifty. I mean, just, just look at Rex Ryan. One of the best defensive coordinators of all time. He wasn't a good head coach. He just wasn't. And Ed Howard, 46 of 50. And our final box of the break. I mean, even Jason Garrett seems to be turning the uh, Giants offense around. It took him a while, but they're starting to pick up the pace now. Daniel Jones has had a couple of good games in a row. He just he just wasn't a good head coach. I'll tell you what, I didn't like he was an offensive coordinator either. There, there were too many times where it would be fourth and one, and he would go to the... Uh, Five wide on fourth and one, and I hated it. Absolutely hated it. So I I, I didn't care for Bruce Arians as an uh, offensive coordinator either. Yiddy Cape, thirty-seven of seventy-five. Of course, we're doing that now again. So We have Roberto Ramos. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's a good example. Wasn't he the coach whenever they went 0-16? Bobby Miller, 42 of 50. There's a team that wasted careers, too. Tyler Soderstrom. To effectively waste the careers of Barry Sanders and Calvin Johnson. That's, that's rough. And we have Pete Crow Armstrong, Destinations New York. <laughs> and we have a clear auto Yelqui Yespidus Yelqui Cespidus
Guessing he's related to Jonas. All right, let's jump over to the other page. We'll randomize those hits. Five, so we'll go one through twelve. Yeah, I was thinking him too. Dexter with Christian Hernandez and Jared Kelly, Robert with Yo Cuesespedes and Cole Henry out of fifty. Christopher K, Leody Tavares, and Pete Crow Armstrong, Robert. Sammy Infante and Kyle Harrison. Jared goes back to back. Austin Wells, Casey Schmidt, CJ Van Eyck, and Werner Blakely. Matthew with Kyle Nicholas and Ed Howard. Christopher with Yeedy Cappy and Gage Workman. Matthew with Seth Corey and Tyler so Soderstrom. Michael with Tink Hentz and Roberto Ramos. Christopher, Garrett Crochet, and Bobby Miller. And Corey with Jared Jones. I think the best hit in that one the Ronnie Mauricio printing plate. All right, that's going to do it. Thank you guys for filling that break. We do have National Treasures Baseball coming up next.